Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another verse video with Brad Nelson and Todd Anderson. What up? Today, we're going to be playing Standard, getting prepared for uh, SCG Open in Indianapolis this weekend. Uh, I am playing Blue Black Control, very Adrian Sullivan esque. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing it for a, a while recently, and uh, I've been a big fan of it. All these green decks, all these Deathmaster Raptors, like Esper Dragons, can't really compete with the Seder Wayfinder Deathmaster Raptor decks because there's just so much fodder for the Foul Tongue invocations. Yeah, I mean, Deathmaster Raptor in particular just seems like a huge problem for that deck. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, well, I mean, I, I'm okay with even killing the Deathmaster Raptor, but it's like whenever you trade three mana for their Seder Wayfinder that found a mana. It's really bad. Like, it's already yeah. replaced itself. and uh, But Esper Dragons might not be the deck to be playing, but Blue Black actually is very good against decks like that with, uh, with what's what's the Perilous Vault. There we go. And Ashiok. Both cards are very good against all these green decks. Uh, Todd's going to be playing probably the most difficult green deck for the Blue Black deck to play against. Uh, yeah, which it is, can be. I mean, I still, I'm playing Abzan Aggro, but... Um, it, it is a little hateful. Uh, I am using the uh, the third place list from uh, the SCG Open in Dallas a, a few or about a month ago now, maybe a little longer. Um, Miss Cutter Hydra out of the board is obviously very good against the control decks. Uh, I think it's primarily there because it can be countered, but it also uh, can be blocked by something like Ojutai or Salumgar, mm -hmm. the either the Drifting Death or the Dragon Lord, and um, uh, it seems interesting. But without a lot of mana ramp. It doesn't actually seem like it m might be that good. Like, I could see me having to cast it for, like, three sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see how that the works. The games do go long. Yeah. And if uh, if the deck ever taps out for an Ugin to ultimate, <laughs> then you just get to fireball. So, like, that's that's where the benefit comes from. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see if Blue Black Control can beat it, but we don't want this intro to be too long because the games are going to go long enough. Yeah. Enjoy. All right, so, uh, I guess Seven's game? This sure. is a pretty This is a pretty important one. Like, Blue Black really likes to be on the play. Yeah, so does Abzan Aggro. Ah. No! No! Doing one at a time. Slow roll you a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh, All right. I mean, same odds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Going one at a time, though, is I don't like it because it's just there's one no, Yeah, there, there's no actual sweat. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> just, just I just wanted the, the milk that camera time. Well, this hand's pretty bad in this matchup, but I would probably keep it game one on the play against unknown opponent. So, okay. and this hand is really good against creatures, like every blue black control deck. Cool, every hand that you can keep. Yeah. All right, go to twenty one. Your turn. All right, so I'm gonna go into nineteen, deal some death. All right, you're at nineteen. Yup. I guess we don't need to do that yet, so we'll just uh, bobble it. All right. Your turn. I feel like this might be a go. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, go. I'll try a Soren. I'll take a damage. Uh, I will take. I'll go back to 20 and dissolve. Yep. 18, 20. Yeah. Yeah, right here, I'm fine with using a Dissolve since I just want to uh, fill my graveyard up, dig for dig through times, uh, stuff of that nature. I hate drawing a wingman rock in this matchup. Yeah, it's <laughs> awful. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> All right, so I get to scry, and uh, this is a decent removal, but it's not really what this hand really needs right now, so we're going to bottom. Aye. And then we'll draw... Not being able to get a three drop in under Brad's counter spell is pretty bad for us. Nineteen, or at least another two drop creature. And we'll want to get a another island for the dissolve dig through time turn. That's always an important one with blue black. Like you always want to like you think you just want to evenly distribute, but you only use two black every turn. All right, we'll play a perilous vault. I right, in your turn. Move. All right, Move I'll take results. one and get three. So I'm at 20 or at 16. 16 to 20. All right, go. Go. All right, so this is just the weird dance where I basically can't play anything else, but Brad probably 12. won't blow the vault for at least until the end of this turn. Scry. Top. Go. Right. Look. Yep, you're up. 
I'll go to 13, your turn. Tap. Uh, doofus. Take one. I'm at That's a big doofus. It's not even a kick doofus. It's just a regular old... I know, I know. Regular old... It still deserves a counter spell. All right. Keep. You're up. So you're at 19, I'm at 13? Yep. I'm at 15. Tilt. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> the radiant bones are always tilts. All right. Uh, take another damage. Another doofus? 18. Uh, oh, oh. That <laughs> that resolves. Scry. Uh, I will untap before you scry. Yep. Okay. <laughs> scry on the staff, cat yes. pig. Exile one card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I really feel like this is just... We can get to these cards later. They're not that important, but just getting a bunch of velocity is, like, really good. So uh, we're not even close to the point in the game where we want to actually try to start taking over the game and winning. We just want to continue getting velocity and your turn. Clear tax. Yep. Gain one. You're at 19. I'm at 12. I assume he's just going to cast another Dictor Time. No. I don't really... Like, I feel like none of the creatures I can play here actually threaten him all that much because he's just going to dig and probably Crux next turn. So I'll just pass. All right. End of turn. Jace's Ingenuity. Yep. One, two, three... Untap. Draw. Go. Player tax. Uh, okay. Nine. Twenty to nine. Uh, I'll try Rakshasa. Uh, that results. Go. Move to discard. Sure. Go. It's pretty weird. I know I'm playing this game very strangely. Like, right now I'm just thinking about Ether Spouts. The card that's coming to mind. Not a lot of decks play main deck though, but I just like can't. Oh, okay. Well, that was good. Now we're just gonna see what's up. I guess or at least try to. That is good. I will dissolve. All right. Well, you can still cast either spells. And we will keep this, on, or we'll put it on the bottom. All right. Hmm. Attack. Game one. Yep, yeah, you go to 20. 20. It should be 21, I think. 21? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so six. 9 to 21. I have you at 6. Why am I at 6? You were at 9 right here. And now I was at 15 to 12 down to 9. No, oh, I'm. I, oh, I haven't taken this damage yet. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm going to dump. Okay. Uh, we'll play Fleece Main Lion. Mm, okay. Go. Dig. Sure. And game one, it doesn't matter because there's no Tazagor in our deck, so I don't really care how I dig. Mm, these are all really, really good. All right, so how do we want to play this out? Pretty sure we just want these two. And we can continue. We can get these later. Let me double check. Feel kind of dumb for not attacking now, but it's just like a weird play. How for... I discarded, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Just can't think you even think about what the rest of your hand is. Right, yeah. We'll take these two. I. Untap. 
draw. We'll go to 10, your turn. I mean, has all of you played three? I've played quite a few. Yeah, you played three. Usually blue black doesn't have they might have like dissipate or something. He probably has at least one more counter spell. I really just want to see what he's got. Yeah. Uh. Attack. <laughs> I still think it's Ether Spouts. I have no idea. It was just a very strange turn. I haven't actually seen Brad's list, so. Seven. Go. Jason Shinobi. All right, monstrous. Sure. Oh wait, no. All right, these are the four I'll draw. I was starting to dig, but that's <laughs> that's the draw I'll have for the turn. All right, your monster scene, and I got distracted and just started palming <laughs> cards. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need to do this next turn, so we can just go to eight and Ugin minus two. Your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to fetch and go see your own downfall. Yep. So you are at, you go to 10 or 20 up to 23, and I go to 5. <clears throat> All right. Untap. You draw. I feel like. I don't know. It was probably stupid to play around either spouts, but I would have looked real dumb if I had gotten hit by it. Yes, you would have. Can you just tell me where the night you have it? <laughs> 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 this whole game is just so screwed up if you don't. <laughs> I, just don't. I just like play that I always have the Aether Spout, so my opponents always play around it. Um, I don't... I guess we can just put this into play as a... as a protection spell. Sure. And your turn. Attack. Downfall. Go. All right. Untap. Draw. It's all right. Yeah, I don't Go. want to draw any of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Go. Upkeep. Draw. Seven. All right, hit an offensive and a fleece man. All right, scry. Yep. Bottom go. Uh, thought sees. Damn it. Ugin. Um, there's no way I can possibly win this game. But all right, 21. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like a genius at least. So that makes yeah. that makes up for this whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Soren, tick down. Make a Tommy boy. You up? Hmm. I guess we have enough mana to make a decision after we see our top card. Uh, we're not going to want to get hit by that. I don't know if we want to waste. I guess that's fine. Uh, put an offensive into play. Okay. And pass the turn. Take up. Okay. Attack. Bob light it. Uh, counter fight. Oh. 
Okay. Right. So you gain I'll four. Gain four. Yep. Yeah. Twenty-five to five. Not gonna get much use out of that anyway, so I might as well. Plus, if I had just like attacked, he might have just taken it, and then I can't really tick down Soren. Yeah, I could have just bob it, so yeah. it helps. Um, so now he has downfall. I guess I can put him on a in a position where he has to either downfall the lion or the Soren. So we'll do that. All right, go. All right. Negative two on the stack, blow vault. Yep. Could have played around that, maybe. Resolve, get a fleece bane. Yep. So these both get exiled. Or no, I'll negative four this. No, does that not work? I don't think it does. Or under control, the, uh, put a creature with corner cast X. Yep, so it has to be two. Mm -hmm. So they both get exiled. So that's a trick that I've done when I'm going to blow the vault, but there's nothing under my Ashek. I'll just negative all the way my Ashek, so it goes to my graveyard for my digs. Mm-hmm. And sure, go. Right, I'll try to cut this. I guess yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you have two cards in hand or three? I have three. Jeez. You still know two of them. Uh, the downfall and, and the other spots. Yeah. Two. Basically, I was getting rid of junk. I do have one tasker in my deck, so I want to. Uh, Make sure I, I don't know, it doesn't matter too much. I'm just like gonna get back the worst of these like five different things, so. Yeah. All right, Santa Fens is probably the worst. All right. Oh, actually, cuts the worst, but I can XL that at least with Tassiger. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll draw two cards. Take oh two no, cards. you finally drew one. Yep, 23. Yep. Uh, move. That's Take your last move, right? Taking one. Uh, 22 to 2? Or, sorry, uh, 20, uh, 25. 25, yeah. I think that is your last move. Might Check be. The I think I might actually have at least one left. No, I'm pretty sure that's your last I think move. that's... One here, one there, and... and one the Oh, you do have one left. That's bad for me. You're up. I actually thought you were out of those. You thought wrong! I did think wrong. Um... Go. You want to eat or spout some? Don't think that's a good <laughs> play. Tech. I'll downfall. All right. Go. <clears throat> Scry. Bottom. Go. Go. Draw. Four. Tilt. Yeah, go. <laughs> uh, Fenza. And a Fenza's in play. Go. Scry. Top. Go. Drop. Yeah. Tech. Hey, the shots. All right. Draw two. Okay. And at twenty-three to four. Yep. I'm playing offensive. Yep. Um. I'll play. I'm gonna go ahead and fetch just it then. Sure. Go ahead. Try twenty-two. Twenty-two to four. Go. Weather the storm, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Draw. Attack. Uh, blow it. <laughs> Alright. Play another offensive. Attack. Trying to remember if I'm supposed to crack here. I think I was supposed to crack. I, I wanted to draw that, and I want to stay out of rhino range. But we're getting low, and there's... The, the digs were all really good, but there is still a dig and a dragon left on top, or at least a dragon, so I'm going to just dissolve without fetching and scry and keep. Right. Dead. <laughs> You're at one. Yeah, I, I, I kept an Ashiak on top. Oh, uh, but yeah, you can't fetch anymore. Yeah. All right, so I'm on the play. Uh, our hand doesn't have any tap lands, uh, and so we have these deltas, so it's our mana might be a little wonky if we don't draw any. Uh, this hand is basically already a mulligan to five, but... Uh, I mean, this is like a very, very good five card hand, so I guess it's okay. Yeah. Go. I'm going to shortcut and go to 19. Yeah. Scry and go to. Or, oh. What? Okay. I'm just off curve. 
All right, I guess we'll keep it just since it's a spell. You're up. Draw. Guess I don't want to draw any more islands for the rest of the game, but this has to be an island, so. All right, uh, scry. Bottom, go. I think this actually has to be an island now that if we want to do this. So we have two decisions. We can start casting these, or we can shove this, and which meant that we shouldn't have even like played this for the turn. And that's probably a mistake. We probably should have just led with this and reassessed, because uh, I guess we can just wait and draw again. So we'll draw for the turn. All right, that makes things way easier. Um... Depends on how good doing this right away is. And you went top there? Bottom. Bottom? Top bottom. Okay. Well, I think our hand is best left being patient. Your turn. I will try this. Alright, uh, I'll go to 17 and dissolve. Sure. He's doing all the work for me. <laughs> This will be good once I draw a dig through time. Brad basically already sieged Rhino himself. I did. <laughs> That's your fifth Rhino? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'll get it back. Nah. Dissolve. It's a pretty interesting one. Alright. Yep. And then draw. <clears throat> we'll go to 19. Rats. And Ashiok. Alright. Your turn. All right. Getting a threat in the play while Brass tapped out is decent, but I honestly don't know if I can afford to let his Ashiok live. Didn't hit a creature, but if he has a counterspell uh, for next turn, then I'm probably in trouble. But if he has another Ashiok, then I might just lose. So we're just going to do this. All right. 16 stupid, to... 23 to 16. Yep. Let's go. I'll go to 7. Did I hit anything good? A Rhino. All right. Well, we are almost for sure being... Uh, taking a turn off next turn to kill that. So your turn. Yeah. <clears throat> um, well, we drew one tap, Heath. That's actually great. Oh, so you get a uh, double spell? Yeah, this, that. Alright. Dude. Draw for the turn. Nothing we want to do yet. Uh, I will bow blight. Then your turn. Yep. Um, upkeep, I'm going to fetch it then. 22. 22. You have two or three cards? I have three. Alright, so we're probably getting hit with a dig here, which kind of stinks, but... Really want to draw a good spell. Alright, let's play that. I'll dissolve. Scry. We'll still bo keep bottoming cards like this. Go. Draw. Hmm. Perilous Vault. Yep. Your turn. Go. Ugh. Scry. Uh, I feel like we just want to find Todd's down to what one card mm -hmm. and top decking. We want to find card advantage. Your turn. Go. Go. Hmm. Play this last turn. Go. Hmm. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> Go. Yeah, I mean, it, it might be more understandable in a moment. Alright, I will play Tessiger. 
Oh, so you could have done it twice. Um, let's see. So I have five to 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 delve. I have six cards. I think I mostly want to get fleece main line back since I have enough mana to like play and monstrous. So we'll leave that. Although Brad does have Perilous Vault, so maybe it's just Rhino. It's probably just Rhino. I'm dissolving. All right. Well, I guess it didn't change too much then. And we'll bottom this. Uh, so I go. If I play my lane, I could have potentially done it and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Activate it twice. Did you have the dissolve of the turn before? Yep. Okay, good. There we go. Scry. So spell, I guess. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get through these cards eventually. Go. Cast this. Sure. Go. He did. Go. Alright, Lion. Sure. Alright, well I have enough to double Montrous next turn in response to removal, but he has the Perilous Vault anyway. I mean, I'm still just going to say go. Yeah, you, you don't want to respond into like a free Vile Blight. Mm -hmm. End of turn. Alright, let's go. Let's exile. Yeah, XL. Go. Yep. As long as he's go. not digging, we have a chance. Go. 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 <laughs> Are they gonna, enjoying this? I'm going to outland you. 19, go. You are outlanding me. Rockadoodle? Man, you have so many of those. Tap my mana. On, tap it on my best lands on purpose. <laughs> All right. I don't see us not just casting this on it during his turn, so I'll just downfall it. All right. Ashok. Yep. And mostly dead. Go. All right, Lion. Mm -hmm. You could have double monstrous. You. Yep. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Results. Uh, pass turn. Upkeep. Monstrous. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, he's just going to take down probably and he can actually regenerate his Roshasha Death Dealer. I know. It's really great. <laughs> <laughs> I have double regeneration. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why Adrian plays these because there's so many more green abilities in all the Ashoks mm -hmm. like Plukronos, Roshasha, stuff like that. We're actually just going to egg. How many? Two. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, that, right. that seems like the appropriate He's number. gone. Three, get a Rakshasha. Your turn. Whoop. All right, you sacrifice enchantment and put a counter on this guy. and then You'll concede because we've seen enough. <laughs> I've seen enough. I'm sure they've seen enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, since I only have four coming in and out, uh, uh, I'll just talk about them. Because we're on the draw, I'm going to cut down to 27 lands, uh, mostly because... You know, Obs on Negro tends to bring in cards like Duress and uh, is trying to be much more aggressive on my hand and on the board. Mm -hmm. We don't really need to make sure we hit all our early land drops. Uh, negate's a little bit awkward against a lot of, like, the hand disruption. Aether Spout does not work against hand disruption. Yeah. And uh, we don't need... Uh, maybe even we're supposed to go down to one Ash, uh, Ashiok, but uh, because we're on the draw, it's just not that great of a spell. Uh, but I'm going to keep in two as like life padding. Two Thoughtseize, a per Pearl Agentia, and a Silence. And these are just coming in. We need a finisher uh, now that uh, Todd gets to change his deck list. And uh, Thoughtseize are going to help deal with uh, turns where we want to like maybe, you know, kill two things in one turn and try to get Todd attritioned out. All right, on uh, my side, uh, Mist Cutter is obviously pretty good against this deck, but uh, it still dies all the black removal. I'm basically just going to be casting it on the turns where Brad like taps low for a Perilous Vault or uh, an Ugin or something like that and just try to deal him a bunch of damage while he's tapped out. Uh, the fact that he can't be countered is great, so if he just doesn't have access to a removal spell in hand or he's burned them all already, then Mist Cutter could just kill him. Mm -hmm. uh, the Valor Stance is pretty hit or miss for me. I think it's a better option than what we have over here that we're cutting. Uh, being able to protect a creature on like turn four going like fleece main with uh, Valor Sense backup is pretty good I think in a lot of situations. Uh, bring in three more discard spells to hit his dick through times and maybe take him off of 
being able to interact with us on very important turns. And then another hero's downfall because of how good Ashiok can be, and because this deck can't beat a resolved Ugin without uh, access to hero's downfall, or I guess a, a miscutter Hydra. Yeah, miscutter. Um, all these removal cells, real bad. We may rock, real bad. Just five mana, three, four. Like, it's yeah, never it's gonna, never gonna do anything. <laughs> they saw it and play enough in the first two games. Yeah. I mean, you had to kill it, I guess, sometimes. But, <laughs> but it's five mana to force me to kill. Yeah. All right, I'm on the play here for game uh, three, and my hand is pretty weird. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> is it a BBD? <laughs> it is it is not a Sun Petal uh, Elf. Elf, so I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it. This is really weird. I mean, I obviously need a lot of help to smooth out the draw. But. All right, over here, uh, we're a little land heavy, and this is the scary thing after Cyborg against Elves and Negro, but we do have two of the temples, and yes, we do run these blue-black temples. We haven't seen any yet, but mm. they're there in the deck. Scry, keep. You've drawn plenty of dismal backwaters. I have drawn a lot of dismal backwaters. Ooh, that is a lot of sensitive citadels. Is it? <laughs> it I don't is. think it's that many. It's quite a few. All right, this all is right. way more. <laughs> I feel like as we keep Thoughts keeping these cards on top, we're fine. Your turn. All right. All right. All right. Lion is not a bad magic card. I agree. It's great. Lion, great. I'm great. Go. Mm. We're going to have to deal with these things eventually, right? Downfall. Don't want to take any early damage. All right. 19, 22. All right. And basically, you always want to get a forest with one top teeth when it's like this point in the game because future death dealers, uh, you want to be able to pump them as much as possible. Yeah. And plus, we side out wingmate rocks, so we have very little use for planes when we already have three white sources. All right. Your turn, sir. All right. Attack you. Exile it. <laughs> All right. Exile. All right. Moo. Ugh. 14 to 25. Yep. See how long he can keep this up. Probably a while. That's basically all this deck does. <laughs> Yes, we have to. Cracks of fate. All right. Your turn. Yep. I'll go ahead and fetch. Go. Scry. 24. Bottom. We're, these are just too slow now. And Perilous Vault. Fight. And your turn. We're well, fine just cracking Brad for four a couple times. If he wants to do or actually, that. actually, yeah, no, I'm, I'm supposed to top this. Yeah, I'm supposed to top that card. Okay. The Scry from this turn. You're good? Yeah. Right, draw. It's going to be a tough game, but I'm supposed to do it. Ten. Go. Actually, no, there's no way I'm supposed to top that card. That would be terrible. Wait, hold on. What? No, that's good. All right, you're good. All right, draw. Ugh. Go. Attack. Ugh, this hand is so awkward. I want to take it, but I don't think I should. Can we win if we don't take it? I don't know if I can come back in this game. So, yeah, I'll go to six. Scry. Yep. Top, go. Exile. Yep. Draw. Go. Uh, Thoughts ease. Sure. Er. Um, take, dissolve. Land Miss Cutter? No. Yeah. Uh, put you to three, I'm at 27. And go. Yep, that's not good. That's not good either. 
Actually, that's maybe that's how we're supposed to. Maybe that's how we have to play this game. Uh, I feel like that might just be how I have to play this game. I don't want to play it that way, but I feel like this guy might die, and I might have to return three lands just to block, and he might die again. Uh, tech chat right. twenty one. Yep. Do we have time to do a? Yeah, we have time to do a temple. Uh, tap everything, return these. Ugin minus four, your turn. Your turn. All right. Or actually, I can do one tap land. I have to do one on tap land. Uh, so I can play tap land next turn and have Pearl Lake again the next turn. Okay. Can't do double tap land. All right. Um, trying to figure out what we can draw here. Miss Cutter Hydra? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or fourth Rhino? <laughs> Oh, don't hold this. It's dead. Not type three. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> really? You already had it? I gotta milk my camera time, man. Do you have to milk your camera time? I don't get very much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so on the play, this is what uh, this is one of the better hands you can get with uh, blue black control just because we have so many options on turn four. Uh, since we have two fetch lines, we can dig through time. But in this matchup, we probably get our hand ripped to shreds. Yeah. Uh, on my side, we mulligan the one lander into this, and I, I mean, we have to keep it, but it's not ideal. I uh, don't think this hand wants this card. If this gets taken, we want to be digging for more card advantage. All right. Did not want another land, so we'll play this. All we want is creatures at this point, and creatures and absent charms, I guess. Hmm. Go. Alright, oh, thoughts ease. Yep, take Ashiok. Really wish I hadn't bottomed that downfall now, but. <laughs> Delta Island. Okay, uh, I'm at 18, and I'm gonna scry. Yeah, we'll scry. Yep, we'll scry. Okay. Top, go. I guess because we lost this, uh, that yeah, we could. No, we'll have to play land of it order anyway. All right, go, go. Go. I'll take three chests. Charm. Fifteen. Yep, that's fine. We're not gonna fight over uh, obs on charm since. Uh, we want the the tempo advantage from uh, our counter spells, not the the exact opposite of tempo advantage. Yeah, we never want to be behind. All right, fourteen to twenty. I'll try for a rhino. That resolves seventeen to seventeen. 17. Yep. Yeah, but I'll fetch and I mean, there'll never be two threats on the board at one time, so we should just double fetch and silence. Alright, so you're at 15. There's a gone. You're up. 15. Draw. Your turn. We're missing land drops, but we're really dense in spells, so I'm I'm pretty okay with their board position. Draw two. Um, that's totally fine. All right, so we're at fifteen. Yep. Yeah. Play this and say go. We'll dig. Yep. Six. Seven. This is an interesting one. We already have so many spells that we want. We probably want this and <clears throat> this. This just forces him to have another answer for it. So, and he already wanted to thought season one. So, I'm fine with that. And then draw for the turn. Put that and play an Ashiok. Double lion. Oop. Your turn. 
I get monstrous lions too. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. All right, uh, fetch again. Go to fourteen. Yeah. Um, this is. I'm not gonna lie. This is a little dangerous. People play ultimate price and stuff like that. Um. If it's a mist cutter, it's fine. Yeah, I mean that's that's what I'm, I'm playing. Like it basically has to be ultimate price. No one's uh, gonna ultimate price your deck, because like no yeah, one plays exactly. mist cutter anymore. Yeah. So five and then yep. protect this. Yeah, sure go. Go get. We already have that, so we can just get another swamp. We already have an island in hand, which is perfect for dissolve dig turns anyway. Mm -hmm. There you go. Draw, play an island, and pass. Or no, we don't want to like get valor stance. Yeah, we're gonna want to kill that no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Do the valor stance for the turn? Yes. That would have been great. <laughs> I mean, no, I didn't draw that. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'll play a fleece man. Right, that is a must counter at this point in the game because we don't have any answer to it going ultimate. All right. Dissolve. Yeah, we'll keep that. Um, Alright, I'll draw two, I guess. Sure, if you had 12. Yep. Uh, use Black Murmurg and Duress. Take Dig. Yep. Do you leave on top or bottom? I left on top. Alright, Downfall and Temple. Okay, keep go. Scry. Bottom. Your turn. Anna. Anna is good. And go. Go. Attack. Dump it. I'll make it indestructible. I will dissolve. Uh, okay. Right, scry bottom. Go. Go. Yep. Scry top. Go. Alright, death dealer. Sure. Go. Uh, negative two. Alright. Your turn. <sighs> Sucks. Kill him. Yep. Draw. Move. That's real bad. <laughs> 15 to 12. Um, yeah, go. Jace's Ingenuity. That's good. Let's tap correctly. So that casts all our spells. Uh, yeah, I did. I'm at 11. 11 to 15. Okay. Draw three. Go. Seven. We'll draw two. We'll dissolve. All right. Scry. Uh, keep that. Go. Uh, we'll go to nine. And you have two cards left? Mm hmm. Go. Attack. Pearl, pearl like ancient. <sighs> Alright, I'll try to downfall it, I guess. Alright, returning. Temple, Radiant, and. I guess both temples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. No. An island. Alright, returning these three. And I'll go to five. Alright, so he's gonna probably play Radiant Found next turn. We have to give ourselves outs here, I think. Might just get hit with a perilous vault or something, but can't really beat Pearl Lake without drawing an answer or putting Seven. more pressure on the board. Your turn. If we draw, we've already gone through all of our Abzan charms, so if we draw the 
fourth downfall, or maybe it was just a third downfall. Yeah, if we draw a third downfall, uh, then we can attack for the win. Or right. Hydra. Subscribe. Bottom, go. go. Yeah, that's gross. Alright, thought sees you. Uh, well, that has to resolve. Yeah. We'll, we'll take Pro Lake. I'm at uh, 13 now. Yeah. Time. Pretty let's go. Here we go. So he has Dissolve and some lands. Scry, so bottom, your draw. Turn. Big Hydra here would be gas. Big Hydra would be good. So uh, to 13, you said? Uh, yeah, you're at 7, I'm at 13. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 5. Cast Jace's Ingenuity. Sure. One, two, three. Uh, I'll go to eight. Okay. And I'm going to. You have one card? Yep. Tick down. All right. <clears throat> One time dealer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're going to I'll borrow this for a second. Tick down. All right. We're going to be getting this. This is basically right, the basically the only window I have left to kill him. So right, play this a monstrous, I guess. It's not the worst play in the world. Right. You're up. That to cast a an Ugin. And if we do that, then we lose our Lily, but we give him another top deck, which I think is fine, so how do you lose your Lily? If I parallel if I play around it and play Perilous Vault. Play around what? Miscutter Hydro. Oh sure. Well I mean you still have, you'd rather not have to blow it on the lion, I think. There you go. All right, so we will. Since our play is, mm, that's on top. Just yeah, this for is on top. Yeah. Clarity's sake. Mm. All right, we have enough for the rest of our digs left in our deck, so I will dig. Yep. I didn't bring my Tesker in, so we're relying on the rest of our threats. Three, four, five, six. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could take this to try to play around it. I mean, the rest of the cards are really good, but I don't even know if they're that necessary. If we have an Ugin in play. The card in hand is a untapped land. I mean, the, the land in hand has to be an untapped land. So, like... So that's just a useless play. I'll take yep. this. I was really hoping that would happen. I'd peel the Miscutter Hydra. Yeah, like, and play the of, land. Yeah. All right. So we'll take these two. Uh, scry, top for insurance, and Ugin negative. All right. Your turn. I found another window. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> I was locked up next turn. Yeah. Was it possible that... Um, I could take the four. I could have yeah, played yeah. around it, but... Yeah, I probably should have just taken four. I could have taken four. I just like to make the games as close as possible. But I don't like getting punished. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game five. Uh, this hand's pretty bad, but I'm going to keep it. 
Uh, well, I'm in a similar boat. We got a scry and a bunch of lands, but got a good curve. Bottom. All right. Not a bad draw. Basically, just want any spell. That's a spell. Go. It's a little awkward to turn on. Oh, he already has access to a million black, so I think it's fine to just do this. Uh, go. Yep. Yeah, I already have all of my black sources. Uh, go. Tech. No box. Uh, I think just two is fine. 18. I'm content just not doing anything, I think. So let's just say go. Uh, Perilous Vault. Sure. Your turn. Uh, Herbor, tech for four. Yep. Play this. And say go. Basically, we're just going to force Brad to blow the vault 14. on Death Dealer unless uh, something changes. Mm hmm. I mean, I'm I'm pretty. I want to take one more hit from that thing. Keep developing. So I will scry. Keep your turn. All right, draw. All right, tick bump. Yeah. Put you a ten. Ten. Go. Go. All right. Like I said, I'm fairly content right now. Tag for four. Sure. Six. All right. Uh, I guess we don't want to get double removal. We don't really need to scry right now. Maybe I should pump a second time, but whatever. All right, go. Revolt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think Excellent. if I pump the second time, he would 100% just go for it. Guess. Press vault, scry. <clears throat> Bottom, your turn. That's good. Um, sorry. Uh, lion plus monstrous. Bottom light. Tilt. Oh yeah, my reward. <laughs> I have to take a damage for the second white, so I'll be at okay. 19. 17. Or 19? I think so. All right, 19 to 6. Yep. Two rhinos away. Um, Two rhinos and a drain. Alright, go to 8. Alright, three rhinos and three a Three rhinos and a drain. <laughs> Draw. Worst possible. Uh, play a death dealer. Sure. I will temple. remember you. Bottom goat. Full value. Remember me. All right. So right now, with Todd just being one spell a turn, I feel like he's got a downfall or two because he hasn't played an Obzon charm. He might have some other threats, and he's just trying to be as passive with them as possible. So we're definitely taking this card, and we might even take this card. Yeah, that doesn't even seem bad. All right, so put these on the bottom. All right. Untap. Draw. Um. Hmm. Stop. Go. I see no reason not to threaten lethal. Let's see. So two green, one black. Second black. Tell you this. Okay. Uh, attack for six. And your passing party to me? Sure. Alright, don't fall it. Alright, I will regenerate. Now with those two you won't. Give me a second. Jeez. <laughs> uh, green for this, black for this. So okay, you go to 18? Black. Yep. All right, regenerated. All right, let's 
Scraken. Top go. Chase Ingenuity. Yep. One, two, three. Untap, draw. Playlands, say go. Alright, second verse, same as the first. <laughs> Attack for six. Alright, you got me. Well, I don't expect any of my spells to resolve now, but <laughs> might as well try. I'll take uh, one damage. Results. So 17. I will play this. Seconds. Go. Alright. Ingenuity. Sure. Uh, hold on. Okay. My brass stepped out. I mean, I can afford to have my Abzan Charm countered, but it just seemed... I don't know why I would want to even give him a chance, because I really just need to find some more stuff. 16 to 8. I'm going to go to 14, actually. Okay. Here. Alright. Tap. Play land. And Perilous Fold. Your turn. Tap. Mm. Alright, I will blow the bolt. Alright. I'll play Soren. Oh, this is gotten to. Soren. Okay. Uh, I screwed up last turn too. Big guy. He's already gone through two vaults. I'll play nine of them also. Sure. Go. Draw. I will scry. Top. Screwed up so bad. And now it's just as lethal, which is really annoying. Go. I assume both my guys are going to die. Yes, there's no reason not to attack. So I have force left. I'm going to do that. I'm at 13. How many cards do you have left? Two. I'll take up. Attacks? Yep. Target. Okay, it's pretty late. Hmm. I'll try to downfall the Parley Agent. You have one card left? Mm hmm. Yeah, definitely screwed this game up real bad. If I played a different land, I could have. If I played a tap land the other turn, not an untap, because I was thinking I was going to play this, but it wasn't safe, I knew you had a downfall. I could have Ugin plus help for the miscutter in your hand, but now I can't, so. So I can't even protect this. Okay. Sounds up. Okay, take four down to four. Yep, and you go to 18. Um, Alright, play this. Mm, that's good too. Can't activate twice, but. Let's see. Alright, so I'll pay two. I'll uh, leave the Absent Charm. Sure. Say go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll play Ugin, minus six. Alright, I'll activate in response. Rhino or Absent Charm? I will give you a rhino. Okay. And I will go to five. In your turn. Alright, let's go, buddy. Alright. Move. I'm at two. You're at twenty one. I gain maybe I already did that. Alright, whatever. Go. Alright, uh, go to three. Yep. Crux. Yep. 
or not that much, this much. Ashy Arctic up. Okay. No! <laughs> Shoot you for three. You're just, two, just two 18. insaners. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Alright, so I'm at 18. Yeah, and you need to hit hit this turn. Yeah. So I got a rhino. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Alright, well, I can ultimate twice, so I'll do it while you're mostly tap low. Okay. Right. How about this one? Does that work? That's fine. Right. Not ultimately. Uh, gain. Yep. Six to fifteen. Yeah, six to fifteen, and hey, let's play this game. All right. I'm at twelve. Your right, turn. Still yeah, I can still I can still <laughs> put that into play. It's true. All right, duress you. I'll dissolve. Scry bottom. Um. I guess my only option is if he attacks with Siege Rhino. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So hopefully he doesn't do that. Now I can draw a downfall though. So nine, nine three. Two. Yeah. No. Go. All right. So we need to draw a downfall now and not miss Cutter Hydra. Mm -hmm. All right. Dead. Yeah. What did we learn? Uh, I learned that I still hate playing against control decks. Yeah. No. <laughs> playing against control is horrible. But I. I mean, if you want to beat it, like this matchup proves, if you want to beat it, you can because. The normal Obzon lists, uh, aggro lists, kind of struggle against it. I mean, they have the best matchup against blue black control out of all of the Obzon decks, in my opinion. Uh, Den Protector is a little annoying, but those versions like aren't putting as much pressure on on the deck. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's like playing the same game, like trying to card advantage you out, but just doing it like in a much slower, worse way. I think. Exactly. So. Yeah. And uh, but like if you want to beat decks like this, you can because the miscut hydras are really annoying. Where I mean, it was Jerry be being cute when he put them in his sideboard. Uh, immediately took them out. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know. But uh, some people will start to play with them a little bit, and they are okay against Esper Dragons. They're really good against blue black because the turn where you Uga and you always have to sweat the card. Mm -hmm. But uh, outside of that, like I, I still really like blue black and. What what pushed it out of the metagame, or did anything, or is it was it just not good, and now it's like decent because everyone's know. just attacking each other? It's possible. Okay, so before like there there was not like a huge amount of of uh, Den protectors or death Raptors in standard for like a long time, mm -hmm. and eventually when like the Abzan deck started being more Den protectory, more even more like Raptory, and just like all the decks started to just sort of coagulate and become this one entity that kind of all does the same stuff. Perilous Vault just became this absurd magic card under everybody's noses. Yeah. And I think the, that I was guess the that is thing. true. There's I, I guess another big thing is the deck always had a really tough time beating Jeskai. Mm -hmm. And Jeskai is just after the new set it's just gone. Like yeah. Jeskai is just a really bad deck. So I think that that is what's what's happening and if Blue Black ever can actually take hold of the format then Jeskai gets to come back. Sure. Cuz Jeskai can only Are you talking really about tokens or Manus Rider. Both. I don't know. I never really liked playing as blue black when I was playing tokens. Like okay, well, Mana Rider especially. Like dig through time, burn decks. Like they sure. they they can beat blue black. Yeah, control yeah I mean really that, well. that's definitely true. Like the tokens are a little too reliant mm -hmm. on uh, Jeskai ascendancy, and if that gets countered, or if they just put a perilous fall into play, it just feels really gross. But yeah, but all the Mana Rider decks are just hyper aggressive and really tough to beat. Um, mm -hmm. Your removal doesn't always line up well, and they still have a bunch of burn spells to finish you off, even if you do have all the removal. Yeah, but because of all the obs on the Jeskai decks are getting slaughtered. So yeah. I guess right now. Now until like in my opinion, blue black is one of the best decks, and until something changes, like Jeskai comes back, uh, maybe this weekend in Indianapolis. I mean, even if Mono Red open, just like if Mono Red comes back, I think Mono Red's a, a really bad matchup for blue black. Like people every, say that, but I beat it. It's it's I, Tom's. I, I don't it's want Tom. to insult people. Oh, but like oh, I don't th Tom Ross playing Mono Red and you playing blue black. I would bet a lot on Tom. Like, just having the best well, version yeah. of the best red deck. Or you whatever. didn't let me finish. I was going to say his impact tremors are what caused me to lose. So sure. if people are playing, aren't playing playing impact tremors, the matchup's pretty easy because you get to that point in the game where you have eight gain lifelands and mm -hmm. you and their burn isn't enough to finish you off and you just find enough removal spells to keep their creatures off the board. Uh, but the impact tremors just lose you the match. Like, it's a really tough card to beat, uh, but what not if, everyone plays it. What if they're it. playing sack full of hammers? Like the... the Titan Strength... Dragon oh, Mantle. I think that one's very easy to beat. They just died to a Drown of Sorrow. <laughs> nah. Yeah. 
Bob Blaine and Drone Sire. Game's yeah. over. But anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Join us this weekend where Cedric Phillips and Patrick Sullivan are bringing you a standard open in Indianapolis. I'm pretty sure you will be there. I might not be there. I might go. I don't know, man. You need to make up I your mean, mind. We just had Charlotte and and the Players' Chance, or the, not the Players' Chance, the Invitational. We did, but, you know, those, I'm a little moderned out by this point. I just want to, like, get back to the grassroots, I guess. I mean, that is true, yeah. Start playing some standard. I wish, it, I, I mean, I know that the last open in, in Indianapolis was Legacy, uh, but I wish this one was Legacy. I should have checked. I didn't, is there I didn't GP get this go, weekend? So. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. I have no idea. I said Players' Champ, then I was thinking Worlds. I already got that Players' Championship on lock. I don't need to go grind points for that. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching today. Join us next time when we'll be bringing you another kind of weird versus video between Todd and I. Why? Bye. Oh, yeah, we are kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs>